my name is Ivers Belis. Uh, I am working for Tieto, uh, retail payments uh, and representing product uh, Tieto Card Suite. So financial services, serving uh, different kind of uh, players and financial industry uh, with products around uh, retail payments. A lot of happening. Uh, since I'm working for more than uh, 19, 20 years, uh, it's drastic change and the speed how it's changing and evolving is huge. Uh, first one, that's about mobile wallets. Uh, global ones like Apple Pay, Samsung Pay are entering market, of course, big ones initially, and then uh, local wallets, issuing banks, issuing wallets. That's first kind of key trend that's happening on the market. Uh, then taking into account payment service directive, uh, second, and uh, uh, new regulations that's coming, uh, new roles that could be uh, on the market like uh, payment initiation service providers, account information service providers and actually push to existing players uh, issuing banks uh, about opening actually access to the accounts that is kind of hot topic on, on, on conference and uh, actually for the banks uh, to consider how to do that and then and, and how to deal with this pressure with challengers actually uh, basically challenging status quo then uh, instant payments there's no conference or uh, no meeting uh, with a bank uh, where this uh, word is also not mentioned and uh, that's another initiative big one about uh, Introducing uh, new rails besides card payment rails so on the market uh, fast, seamless to the customer and again that uh, makes a big pressure to, to, to organizations about uh, how revenue from card transactions will be in the future, let's say, that will be, that will decrease and then also customer experience thinks about bringing uh, not just person-to-person -person transfers based on instant payments, but actually uh, customer-to-business payments uh, to the uh, area. That's uh, very hot. And uh, yeah, those are key trends. Uh, cloud payments, instant payments. I basically, I think I mentioned uh, all of them, and of course PSD is behind that one. Quite a lot we speak about uh, user friendless and seamless experience of the customer uh, the key point which we we consider at Tieto is that uh, payment functionality by itself it's like commodity it has to be there it has to be secure reliable and then and, and you have to be able to pay and uh, seamlessly without i don't know pushing seven buttons or something like that at the same time to bring added value to the customer uh, Issuers has to think about uh, putting added value on top of living together with a customer, following customer life cycle. Is it about uh, where he spends money, helping them to track actually his spendings, budgeting perspective, uh, helping actually to gather loyalty or discounting points. So that's about building added value on top of uh, payments functionality that is brought by the wallet. Because honestly saying uh, for this issuer, there's huge, not huge, but uh, quite uh, expensive project to launch uh, this wallet. Especially when we think about uh, Apple Pay, uh, Samsung Pay, that's one kind of integration, that's one way of business model. And uh, if you would like to address all cardholders, those ones who are actually uh, not having Apple phone, but maybe Samsung, maybe Android phone based, if you want to put to the market equal products, then you have to do a lot of investments in different products and functionality. So, and this added value, that's actually the way how actually the revenues could be gained back on those investments. There's a lot of movement around and there are countries in which uh, instant payments already has gained traction and then country-wide solution or some little bit more uh, proprietary solutions are in place and uh, they are getting traction a lot. Uh, example could be uh, Sweden and Swish. Everyone know what is Swish, that's about person-to-person -person transfers and now moving person to business transfers where actually you can pay for the goods and services using the same uh, Swish payment not relying on a card rails and uh, 
that will take traction, taking into account Europe's central bank uh, regulation about uh, launching that solution. There is the issue actually, and, and, and about speaking about economics, it's still kind of silos within country, and then and, and, uh, Europe's central bank uh, launching that one centrally. Uh, I think at that moment the bridges between those silos and countries will, 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 will appear and that will be even, uh, let's say, more stronger economics behind. That means uh, actually that uh, revenue streams will change a little bit positions. Some part of uh, car rails revenues will go away to some other rails. So, and that's a matter of who is playing in which area and doing what. What we see, uh, and, and, and that's also kind of key trend, uh, we see a lot of uh, startups and vintage companies entering the market and challenging uh, uh, existing banks. And uh, key points how they can challenge them is uh, actually, first of all, they are trying to, how to call it, it's uh, uh, good, uh, give customers very good value for the service, which means uh, more com uh, compelling and uh, competitive pricing. What's behind that? That's actually about technologies and how flexible and how quickly can they adapt. The problem is that existing players on the market with a lot of legacies behind, uh, they are struggling to move quickly and to be able to innovate, put up new solutions on the market, uh, there are either big investments uh, with time behind, uh, either there is, uh, they have to buy in uh, new kinds of solutions and then partners to, 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 to be able to deliver it quickly. So, uh, my thinking is that uh, partners have to be chosen very carefully that can uh, bring in uh, solution capabilities to leverage existing uh, infrastructure to make it more, let's say, uh, non-silos based, uh, open a APIs, so that they can act like vintage and startups, very quickly move, orient uh, solution and combine several things together. Otherwise, they will be losing market shares. Yeah, that's basically my, my previous answer. Partly uh, answer that one that uh, you 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 have to put focus on 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 bringing in new technology and and, and opening APIs and uh, that kind of strategy.